Hello friends, let's discuss today about session layer of OSI model. As obvious from the name, this layer is designed to allow devices to establish and manage sessions so that multiple channels could be established between terminals. Session layer is the fifth layer in the seven layer OSI model after transport layer. It is called as port layer as well. The main function of session layer is to establish, maintain and synchronize the interaction between communicating systems. It allows information of different streams originating from different sources to be properly combined and synchronized. The boundaries between layers start to get blurred once we cross transport layer. It becomes hard to categorize what exactly belongs at layer 5, 6, 7. These are some of the functions that are performed by session layer along with the support of other layers. Session layer is responsible for establishment, management and termination of sessions and connections between end user applications. It works in three phases. In the first phase, the session establishment phase, the services and the rules for communication between the two devices are proposed and agreed upon. For example, who will transmit, when he will transmit, how much data can be sent at a time, and so on. Once the rules have been established, the second phase of data transfer begins. Finally, in the last phase, connection termination occurs when the session is complete and communication ends gracefully. Session layer is also responsible for authentication between computers before the exchange happens. For example, simple username and password authentication. It confirms what a user is authorized to perform. This is also a responsibility of session layer. Authorization is the process of verifying that you are permitted to do what you are trying to do. So basically authentication controls are the user access and authorization controls that what are you permitted to do. Session layer also controls the duplex mode. It decides whether both sender and receiver of a session will communicate at the same time or one of them will speak and the other will listen and once he finishes then the other will speak and he will listen so this is called half duplex and full duplex please follow my atec website for related detail cheat sheets interview questions and answers quizzes and many other useful resources on the same topic just browse to aurum.com atec and point to the relevant section all links are given in the description of this video as well Protocols at session layer include SIP session initiation protocol, PPTP layer 2 tunneling protocol, H245 for the call control and multimedia communications, SMB, NFS, password authentication protocol and so on. Important network equipment and components that operate at session layer include end devices like computers, smartphones, servers, the devices which run the real applications and control the session, firewalls, gateways, load balancers and so on. Let us summarize the session layer. It is the fifth layer in OSI 7 layer model. It performs important functions like sessions management, duplex control, authentication, authorization and so on. Important protocols at session layer include SIP, PPTP, L2TP, SMB, NFS, password protocols and so on. Equipment operating at session layer include end devices, firewalls, gateways, computers, servers, mobile phones, and so on. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and Facebook page for more and updated videos.